What we have here is an ellipse that we are going to change from general form into standard form so that we can then find all of the required information about this ellipse. The first thing we need to do is group the x's and the y's together, giving us 9x squared minus 18x plus 4y plus 24y equals, and now we take the 9 and subtract it so that it's on the other side because it will not be involved in completing the square. Since we will be completing the square, we need the leading coefficients for the x and the y squared to be 1. So we'll simply factor these numbers out. We're going to factor out the 9, giving us x squared minus, well, the 9 goes into that 18 twice, so it's minus 2x plus 4 times, and the 4 goes into the 24 6 times, plus 6y equals negative 9. As you can see, we've left spaces for those boxes that we'll use to complete the square. Plus box, plus box. Now you'll notice this box is inside these parentheses where it will be multiplied by that 9. So over here we're going to write plus 9 box. Same thing goes here. This box is in parentheses that are multiplied by 4. So we're going to go plus 4 box. Okay, time to complete the square. 9 times x, well let's see, half of that negative 2 is negative 1. Square it and you'll have a 1 in this box and a 1 in the corresponding box on the other side of the equal sign. Plus 4 times, well what's half of that positive 6? Well that's positive 3. Square the 3 and we get a 9 in this box and a 9 in this box equals. Now this part can be done easily with our calculator. We have negative 9 plus 9 times 1 plus 4 times 9. And that comes out to 36. Of course this number where the 36 is needs to be, when we're all done, a 1. So let's divide everything by 36. When we do that, the 9 goes into 36 four times, giving us x minus 1 squared over 4 plus y plus 3 squared over 9 equals 1. Now I would ask you, is this yet in standard form? Well, no, because it's an ellipse. Remember, not only does a squared always come first, but for ellipses, a squared is also always the bigger one. 9 is obviously bigger than 4. So to get this into standard form, we still need to turn it around. y plus 3 squared over 9 plus x minus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. Now that we have it set up this way, we can easily tell that this ellipse is going to be vertical as we set this up.